Oh my god. Well, at least that's over with. Hello? Hello? Who's there? Wait, is that you, Percy? Huh? Who's that? Oh my god! Who, who on earth are you? What lay before Percy's eyes was an old engine shed, and within it stood a little old engine who looked exactly like him. Oh, don't you remember, Percy? It's me, Damien. It's nice to see you again, my little brother. Brother? Then, it all came back to Percy. He began having memories of Damien and him on the Great Western. Oh, Percy, it's so good to see you again. And I'm glad that you finally remember everything. My brother. I... I have a brother. It's good to see you again, Damien. Really, it is. I've missed you. I've missed you too, Percy. A lot. Soon Damien was finally restored and back into working service. And he was very excited to meet all the other engines. When he met some of the engines, he was very glad to talk with them. But unfortunately, Thomas wasn't so glad. He looks a lot like Percy. You're just here to replace Percy! Um, excuse me, what on earth are you talking about for Pete's sake? I'm his brother for Lord's sake, and I'm not here to replace anybody! Oh no, you're not? I won't let you take Percy's work. Well, I know. Thomas, that's not very nice. I would think the new all engine would show some more respect. And plus, I've been abandoned for years, so show a little more respect. Listen here, little blue tank engine, you'd never understand how hard it was being stuck there for all those years. Ugh, whatever. Unfortunately for Thomas, he was so cross that he didn't realize until it was too late that the points were set to the wrong line. And by the time he was able to slow down... It was too late. And that's basically what happened, Damien. Are you kidding me? No, I'm not going to help that blue puffball. Besides, it would serve him right for how he spoke to me earlier. Please, Damien, what about the passengers? What about them? Do they deserve to be stuck there? Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, very well. I'll go help him. And with that, Damien steamed away. Hang on there, Thomas, I'll get you to safety. Thomas couldn't say anything. He was too scared. Alright, three, two, one, and... <laughs> Thank you, Damien. I'm sorry I was rude to you. You're really useful. I'm sorry to say, though, that despite Damien's happiness on that day, he would unfortunately let all the, let's just say, compliments, as he would put it, go into his smoke box. Thomas is an amazing and a really useful engine, and I believe he's right, said Damien confidently.
Life was good for the three normal saddle tanks until one tragic night in 1926. Johnny, who had been sitting in a shed nearby, saw the flames coming towards him, and soon the shed was engulfed. Damien would remain stuck in the works for many days, which gave him a while to think about his actions. When he returned a few weeks later, he was assigned to be a banker at Wellsworth for the time being until he could be trusted with trucks. When he returned home a few weeks later, there was a really rousing welcome for Jamie in the saddle tank. Jamie, I am very sorry. I didn't mean to cause your crash. Well, well, well. That bull talking from a fat angel like you, Gordon. That's the only time I'm really agree with you, little Thomas. Ha 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 